Hey world, this is Pooh of PNP TV. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be showing my natural makeup routine. It's going to be a very short, sweet video. I don't do that many things to my face every day. I just like to make sure that I'm looking pretty decent because as I've stated before, I have naturally dark circles around my eyes and I'm always, is it this side? Yes, this side of my face here. I'm always just trying to make sure I'm covering up those three particular areas. They kind of make me a little bit more self-conscious, but like I say, I love my eyes. So I always try to make sure that my eyes pop. So whether it's a day that I don't wear any makeup at all, I do my natural makeup routine, or I'm going all out, I wanna make sure that my eyes stand out. Let's get started, okay? Okay, of course I'm gonna be starting out with some chap ice. I get this at Dollar Tree. As I said before, I think I'm allergic to any of the, the chopsticks that have beeswax in it. And this one doesn't. I read all the ingredients on everything because I'm allergic to everything. So I gotta keep these looks moisturized. Okay, the next thing is definitely concealing the circles around my eyes in here. I just have a really nice light, okay? I mean, this looks like I could actually go outside and not put on any makeup. It looks like my skin is really healthy. But if you look in natural light, it's gonna be a whole different ball game. So I definitely try to make sure that I'm concealing these areas in here for sure. Well, you gotta forgive my nose. I'm looking like somebody can beat me up, but this appeared, these scratches on my nose appeared on my face this morning. And I think I was sleeping so good and I was just like grabbing the, the what is it, the um, blanket and I was like scratching my face with my nails as I was like holding on tight to the blanket cause my nails are growing. I have yet to go to the nail salon, but yes, if you can see on my nails, look, look at all the scratches I have. <laughs> They'll go away in a couple weeks. The next thing that I'm going to do is just going to be applying this setting powder to my face. And really, I just only really apply it to the places that I actually either feel like I might potentially, potentially, what is potentially? where I potentially may um, have some oil come through. So yeah, just in my T-zone area. I just do it like so. Okay, well, you know I'm gonna let this set for about five, 10, maybe 15 minutes. And yeah, so I still have to let it set. Even when I do my natural makeup routine, it, well, to me it takes about 15 minutes, 15 minutes whole total. No, not 15 minutes. It just depends on how long I, I allow the powder to set on my face. If I'm gonna be like 
in the sun within the next probably 30 minutes, like actually sitting at a park or something like that, then I'll let it sit for like 15 minutes. For why, I don't know. I just figured that the longer it stays on my face, the more it'll penetrate deeper into my pores and it'll keep all that oil at bay. But we're just gonna do like five minutes so that I can just show you the rest of the routine. Now, as I told you before, I don't have a process or a system or an order to how I actually apply my makeup. So I might apply my mascara first at times. I might apply it in the middle. I might put apply it at the end. It just really depends on if I remember. That's just the truth right there. If I remember to do the steps that I choose to do, whether they're incorrect or not, I, there's no particular order to it. No particular order to my madness. I'm just gonna go on and apply my clear Maybelline, Maybelline <laughs> Great Lash Mascara. Put some on the eyebrows real quick. Just to bring them out a little bit. They still need to be professionally waxed, but we're going to get through this. I mean, I have my excuses of why I haven't gotten a wax because, shoot, we're still in a pandemic. That's my excuse for looking any type of way right now. Okay, now, as far as my everyday look goes, I only do three colors of lipstick i don't wear all three colors at the same time but i choose between three different colors of lipstick a shade of red a shade of brown which i like to say or call dark chocolate and a shade of purple so for this look or whatever i have on here this is black I would either probably do a shade of red or a shade of purple. Okay, this is Maybelline Lip Ink in the shade of Composer. And this is the brownness of the browns as far as their um, company goes, their, their makeup line goes. So I just call this dark chocolate. When I put it on my, my lips, it appears to be like dark chocolate to me. And I love it for a natural, look for a natural makeup look <laughs> this here is like one of my favorite purples is from milani and it's called i am cool 21 i am cool if you can see that and then this is one of my favorite reds here from milani as well it's i am fierce number 16 i am fierce if you can see that so I'm just gonna choose between these two here. Uh, what do you think? Like pur purple or red? Like, let's take another look at these again. Which one, if you can see? I think I always go with purple, it never fails. I always go with purple. I don't know. Let's go with red today. Yeah, better be good. Look at my lips. My lips are super moist, but I feel like I'm not gonna be able to put on any lipstick like this. So I'm gonna put on, no, I put on, I'm gonna use um, some tissue just to wipe a little bit of this away. I wanna still keep my lips moisturized, but I need to eliminate some of this so that I can actually penetrate the lip area a little bit more with this so it'll stay put a little longer than me like slurping on a straw and then it all just goes away then I gotta keep real prime because I absolutely hate that that's why I usually use concealer on my lips now because that's the only way I can keep it from moving or being completely eliminated off my lips
I mean, this lipstick could would definitely stand out if I had put like a lip liner. I don't know how to use a lip liner either. Cause I swear, whenever I put a lip liner on, it's like using um, like those those oil crayons. You know the ones that like they might look blue, but then you put it on paper and it's like clear. What am I doing wrong? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I literally always have allergies. I'm telling you I'm allergic to everything. Okay, now we're just gonna take pat off the face real quick. I look ashy. Don't I look ashy? I look ashy and then I look but I do not like this. Yes. I'm just, it's gonna be like a week or so before that goes away. No worries. And I do put on mascara under my eyes. The last two times I've showed makeup disasters. I have not put mascara underneath my eyes. Well, maybe I, I put the clear, but the black really makes the eye area pop, 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 pop. Okay, I'm having to open up a new black mascara because I've just kind of pushed it to the side. It's like the clear mascara is like my new bay now, so. I don't typically wear, you know, this particular shade of mascara anymore. It just, I don't know. I just, just think the clear is just so more, it just makes more sense. And then I don't like it to, to clump up and then it takes forever for me to wash it out of my eyelashes. Even though I have eye removing pads, eye removing pads, really. Eyeshadow, is it eyeshadow? Well, eye makeup pads is what I have. It's still a pain. It does make a big difference besides this area here. But like I said, like stop thinking about it, Tiffany. Stop calling yourself Tiffany. People in this world knows you by poo. <laughs> I remember that. Okay, my last, very last thing that I do, that I always do, is I apply my LA Girls or any matte setting spray to my face to give that finished and like put together touch so that I can take on any type of weather conditions from day to day. Okay guys, this is my natural look. It may not look that natural, but I certainly don't do all the other stuff to my face. I mean, I guess the only thing I really eliminated was the eyeshadow, the foundation, and the eye primer. But this is my natural makeup look and routine so thanks for watching okay 
know we said our goodbyes. I'll see you later. Yada yada yada. But couldn't I have just concealed these scratches on my face? Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That again. Okay. Now this is a for real. Goodbye and thanks for watching. <laughs>